For decades, we had a story of how the universe began. But what if that story, the one we believe to be elegant and true, was wrong? We thought that after the Big Bang, there was a profound, starless darkness that lasted for hundreds of millions of years. Then, the first faint stars would flicker into existence. The James Webb Telescope was built specifically to see that primordial dawn to capture the ancient light from the universe's very first galaxies. But when Webb peered back to the beginning of time, it didn't see a flicker, it saw a firestorm. It found objects so impossibly bright, so massive and so complex that they simply shouldn't exist according to our models. What are these strange lights and where are they coming from? What Webb has found is forcing scientists the world over to admit we might have the story of the universe completely wrong. To understand why astronomers are so stunned, we first have to understand what they expected to find. Our entire understanding was built on something called the Standard Model of Cosmology. This model, which has been incredibly successful, paints a very specific picture of the universe's first billion years. It begins with the Big Bang about 13.8 billion years ago. For the first 380,000 years, the universe was an opaque, seething cosmic soup, too hot for even atoms to form. When it cooled enough for protons and electrons to combine into hydrogen and helium, a moment called recombination, the universe became transparent. But there was a problem. There were no stars, no new light sources. This kicked off the cosmic dark ages, an endless starless night of drifting gas clouds. According to the standard model, gravity began to slowly work on this darkness. Over millions of years, it pulled gas into dense clumps. After maybe 100 to 200 million years, the cores of these clumps got so hot that nuclear fusion ignited. This was the cosmic dawn. The first stars, known as Population 3 stars, were thought to be monsters, hundreds of times more massive than our sun, and living short, violent lives. These stars would then slowly cluster together, forming the first small, clumpy proto-galaxies. This is what the Hubble Space Telescope saw. It showed us galaxies from when the universe was less than a billion years old that looked just as the theory predicted, small, disorganized, and faint. They were galactic toddlers. So the timeline was clear, a dark age, a slow dawn, and then a gradual buildup of small galaxies over hundreds of millions of years. That was the textbook reality Webb was supposed to confirm. Well, enter the James Webb Space Telescope. It's not just a better Hubble, it's a time machine. Webb is an infrared specialist, and that is the crucial difference. As the universe expands, light gets stretched. Light that left the first galaxies as visible light has been stretched over 13.5 billion years into the infrared spectrum. Webb, with its huge golden mirror, was designed to catch these exact signals. Its mission was to pierce the cosmic dark ages and see the first flickers of those infant galaxies. In 2022, after its long journey, it opened its eye to stare into the abyss. Scientists were looking for faint reddish smudges. The JWST Advanced Deep Extragalactic Survey, or JADES, was designed to stare at one patch of sky for hundreds of hours to build the deepest picture of the early universe ever. Confirming the standard story would have been a triumph, but what Webb sent back wasn't a confirmation, it was a cosmic bombshell. When the first deep field data came through, the scientific community saw something unbelievable. Where they expected faint, simple galaxies, Webb saw beacons, shockingly bright, bewilderingly large, and far too mature. They found a whole population of them. In early 2023, a team announced six candidate galaxies seen just 500 to 700 million years after the Big Bang that were so massive they were nicknamed Universe Breakers. Some appeared to contain as many stars as our Milky Way does today. It was like seeing a picture of a newborn baby who is six feet tall with a full beard. 
it defied all known rules of development. As researcher Joel Legia put it, the revelation that massive galaxy formation began extremely early in the history of the universe upends what many of us had thought was settled science. The discoveries kept coming. Astronomers found what they called MOMZ-14, the mother of all early galaxies, existing a mere 280 million years after the Big Bang, which remains one of the most distant galaxies ever spectroscopically confirmed. Another candidate, Jade's GS Z14-0, appears to exist at a similar time, around 290 million years after the Big Bang. According to the old story, a galaxy this young should be a tiny mess of a few new stars. Instead, it was enormous and incredibly luminous, with a mass of stars equal to hundreds of millions of suns. The question became, how could nature build something so big, so fast? The theme was consistent. The early universe wasn't a quiet nursery. It was a factory, building huge, complex galaxies at a speed the standard model couldn't explain. It seems the universe hit the ground running. These bright early galaxies are profound paradoxes that challenge our fundamental understanding of how we got here. So are we wrong about the origin of these galaxies? The standard model of cosmology is built on a key ingredient, dark matter. The theory says that invisible halos of dark matter collapsed first, and then normal gas was pulled into this scaffolding to form galaxies. But this process has a speed limit based on how fast gas can cool and turn into stars. The universe breaker galaxies seem to have converted nearly all of their available gas into stars with terrifying efficiency, something models just don't allow. This points to a few unsettling possibilities. First, maybe our understanding of star formation is wrong. Perhaps the first stars formed much more efficiently than we imagined. This would mean rewriting key parts of astrophysics. Second, what if the cosmological model itself is incomplete? Finding these massive galaxies so early challenges core aspects of our models of early galaxy formation. While the overall framework of cosmology is robust, these findings show that it needs significant revision. Beyond their size, the chemistry of these galaxies is baffling. In astronomy, any element heavier than hydrogen and helium is a metal, and these are only forged inside stars. It takes a full generation of stars to live and die to enrich the universe with these elements. Webb, however, has detected significant amounts of oxygen in galaxies like Jade's GS Z14-0, seen at just under 300 million years cosmic time. To have that much oxygen, the galaxy must have already completed at least one full cycle of star birth and death, squeezing the cosmic dark ages into an incredibly short window. On the other hand, Webb is also reshaping our understanding of the epic of reionization, the event where light from the first objects burned off the opaque fog of the universe. Webb's data suggests that the primary drivers of this were not a few huge galaxies, but vast armies of tiny dwarf galaxies. So we have a puzzle. The universe was filled with countless small galaxies doing the cleanup work, but also a shocking number of universe breaker galaxies that grew too big too fast. It's a contradiction that has left theorists scrambling. What we're witnessing is a potential paradigm shift. Webb was built to find the origins of a story we thought we knew. Instead, it's found evidence that the preface needs a major rewrite. The existence of galaxies like MOMZ-14 and the Universe Breakers suggests that galaxy formation wasn't the slow, bottom-up process we imagined. It seems the universe was capable of creating massive, mature structures right from the beginning. For scientists, this isn't a crisis. It's an incredible opportunity. It means there is new physics to be discovered. The standard model of cosmology is clearly incomplete, and these impossible galaxies are the clues that will point toward a more accurate theory of the cosmos.
We have moved from wondering if there were galaxies 300 million years after the Big Bang to analyzing their chemical composition in detail. That leap is astonishing. The textbooks are being rewritten in real time with every new data release from Webb. The story of the universe is not set in stone. The James Webb Space Telescope hasn't just opened a new window, it has shown us that the house we thought we understood has a different architecture. The first objects it saw were not faint embers, they were cosmic lighthouses, shining from the dawn of time and illuminating the profound gaps in our own knowledge. Finally, if you guys have finished this video, don't forget to comment what you think about these discoveries. Are we wrong about the timeline of the universe? Or are we wrong about how the very first galaxies were born? Make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell as we continue to explore the final frontier together.